One other uh, a quick illustration of what I'm after, I suppose, can be given in terms of animal behavior. There's an experiment that it would be very interesting to perform, but it, sometimes it, it doesn't work as sharply as I shall tell you about it. It consists in taking a galvanized container, metal container, about so, about so high, and filling it with water. And the galvanized container contains some notches so that we can put a glass partition uh, right almost in the middle. Now, this requires that we find a walleye pike or a northern pike. Doesn't make much difference, but we ought to have a hungry one if we can possibly find it. And uh, we put him over here and let him swim around. Then on this side of the container, we take a handful of minnows, the walleye pike's favorite food. We just dump them in and uh, let them swim around freely. Now, if you will stand off in a situation like this, you'll notice that the pike goes after the minnows. That is, you, you'll hear a swish and a dull thud. And uh, the pike will bump up against the glass and then bounce back and do it again. And we'll keep on doing that. And you stand off with a clocker and count it. Now, this is no place to get into any controversy, but if the fish, it makes a difference. Whether the fish comes from northern Wisconsin or northern Michigan or somewhere else, <laughs> as to how long it will, how many tries it will take until the fish quits. There are those who say that it takes a little longer if the fish comes from northern Michigan, but I won't uh, fight that out. Nevertheless, there will come a time when the fish will stop. That is, he's learned if you go after these fish, you, uh, you get bumped and you don't catch the minnows. At that point, when he swims lazily all by himself, the experimenter removes the glass partition and the minnows proceed to swim freely, almost coming up against the pike and some of them bang against his gills. But he knows what he knows. He knows that you don't go after those. And in the midst of plenty, he proceeds uh, to starve, literally. And if you wait long enough, he, he will die in the midst of all these minnows. Somehow or other, in the presence of the happening, which made an impact, if we can think that the fish evaluates, thinks, interprets in his own way, and then proceeds to act, there's something about his behavior that isn't quite sensible. His behavior leaves something to be desired. There's something off. It's awry. Now, how can we describe the pattern of that behavior? How can one describe what happens to the pike? And I have a hunch that you can almost at this moment think of illustrations yourself in which human beings behave like that. And when they do, in their talking and acting, we begin to have a pattern of the difficulties that 